Hello, I'm Liam from 1082R, and today I'm joined with Luke from 2029C, and today we're going to be watching the finals match for the competition Shanghai Zhengshu Jingling Sai. Yeah, so let's start this match. So we haven't seen this match yet, and in the description, there is a comment about how Red Team got DQ'd here. So, I mean, we'll see exactly how they get DQ'd. We really don't have a clue of how that happened. And as you can see, Red Team does a great job of taking corner control very early there. Yeah, you see Blue also fighting, but the, the, is that not the negative corner over there? That's oh, wait, wait, what, what's going on there? I think oh, there is... It looks, <laughs> like, <laughs> it looks like they're getting entangled. Right. And he tips him! He tips him! He flips over! And now they, they have the goal stuck on their rubber band. <laughs> the goal is jumping up and down in the air. It's airborne. kind of strategy that we have not seen thus far. These are some crazy strategies with an airborne blue goal that getting pushed into the negative corner. It's still not even touching the ground. How is that going to be scored? They're using it as nunchucks so they can slap their opponents, but they finally get it off. The other team still flipped over from the very, very unintentional flip. Absolutely. I'm, I'm I can see no see DQ happening here. Yeah, I, I can see no DQ happening here. Be that. Yeah. The robot just lying there lifelessly, very sad to see. But I mean, I think it was I mean, well deserved. I feel like they shouldn't have fighting, be, been fighting for that corner in the first place. I mean, if if you build your robot right, you should have wheels on the back to prevent this, no? I feel like you should have like a kaboomer mech to just shoot yourself back up. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, even though he tipped him using a, a rubber band that was attached to his robot, I feel like there's... I mean, you shouldn't get DQ'd for that. That's just how the game works. If you right. can... if you don't want to get flipped over by your rubber bands, don't have rubber bands, maybe. That's true. Good match. What do you think? I think that's an amazing match, and we we may implement some form of way to hold the goal, such as the uh, that China mech that was able to float the goal. It makes it a lot harder to steal, just because of its bouncing nature. It's a lot harder to grab onto. So I can see that being a prevalent strategy throughout the season to uh, have your goal be boinging up and down. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you can see here, they lift their lift up and their goal is higher than any any possible back clamp that can grab onto that. No one's going to grab onto that goal. People are talking about having a really good uh, mechanical advantage a pivot or like a back clamp, right? But you just having your goal float, float in the air like this... There's no way anybody's going to be able to grab onto that. You see how, how fast that's moving? Absolutely. Yeah, there's no shot. And also, you can use it for defense by spinning around in circles. Yeah. And hitting your with it. I mean, this is, is really this is really the match. This is really the play of the match here. Do you see this right here? Yeah. <laughs> and how how they how they go forward for a little bit to because they see they're about to fall, but then they go backwards and realize them falling might help them. Yeah. I mean, just really quick decision making here on red team, just making sure that to, I mean, flip them just like how they would at, at Worlds. So be aware of that strategy at Worlds, guys. Absolutely. Don't and get that's flipped. That's all for today. Yep. Um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Put, yeah. Post notifications on. Sauce.